There's actually muddy water coming out of this thing. Oh, so to keep Ed Gasket going financially, I always sell my old projects to pay for new ones. But as you can see, here's the R8. And inside, I'm just having a real hard time being okay with selling this car. Can't do it. I, I can't do it. So let me get the R8 out of the garage and make space to reveal our next project. I love this car. Well, check it out. Welcome to the garage. This is a Kawasaki Ultra 130 Wave Runner. It definitely does not run at all. And judging by the 2009 Pennsylvania registration sticker, this hasn't run in 13 years. First piece of advice, if you're buying a boat, jet ski, wave runner, jet boat, motorboat, inboard, outboard, doesn't matter, any boat, if it hasn't run in 13 years, don't buy it. But I'll be honest with you, as cool as it is to drive an Audi R8 around, if you've ever ridden a wave runner, very similar feeling when you gun it. So let's get this thing out of the garage. Get it pressure washed, make it look a little bit less neglected, figure out what's wrong with the motor, why it hasn't been on the water in 13 years, and try and prove my theory wrong, that you should never ever buy anything like this. We're gonna figure out why this thing doesn't run. We need to get the seat off to get access to the engine compartment. If you take a look in the engine compartment, you'll see there's a three cylinder, two stroke engine. And hence the name, the Kawasaki Ultra 130. This engine produces 130 horsepower. And I can tell you from the get go, this red cable here and this black cable here should be connected to a battery. If we're gonna know what this engine needs to run again, we're gonna have to go get a battery. Oh look, a battery. I'm gonna put this battery in the jet ski and hopefully it starts right up. Imagine this is all it needs. All right, battery's tight, let's turn the key. All right, here goes nothing. That's where the key goes, this is the key. I turned it on and that was eerily quiet. Let's hit the start button. Excellent. Silence from the starter. That's not good. So I'll take a big wrench like this, put it on the drive shaft. The drive shaft is connected to the engine and the pump, and I should be able to turn this freely. Okay. Frozen solid. Either the engine is seized, or the pump is frozen, or both. We have a number of problems here. Let's see if we can diagnose them. Cool, that didn't do anything. Oh! I'm still not sure why. Earthquake test! This isn't loose. Oh my gosh. There's a huge rock stuck in there. Check this out. See that thing stuck back there? That's a rock up there. I wonder if that's stopping the motor from spinning. Let's get that rock out and see what happens. Look at that, freaking huge rock. All right, it's not that big, but it's a rock and it was probably getting in the way of something. So time out a second. If you find that your engine and pump is completely frozen, but then you remove a big rock from the pump, it's probably in your best interest to go back into this engine bay and see if it's unfrozen. How about that? Pump's moving. That would be the definition of unfrozen. Now, if you don't have to take a jet pump apart, you definitely should not do that. And we'll take this time to put this jet pump back together. And then we'll go back into the engine bay and try and figure out why our electricity is not getting from the battery to the starter. 
So we know we have a brand new battery in this jet ski, but we're not getting any juice to the starter, which makes no sense because the first place the battery sends power to is the starter. Not, of course, before it sends it through this relay, which is about 20 bucks. So if I want to get battery juice to the starter, I got to go through this thing. Let's replace it and see if it fixes our problem. While we replace that relay, let's think about what we're going to do if it doesn't fix our issue, which would mean the control module in the Wave Runner is no good and would cost $1,000 to replace. That is a price tag that would functionally total this project and add it to the list of terrible decisions I've made in the last three months. Fortunately, I've been thinking about growing a mustache again. With the new starter relay in place, it's again time to go back to our ignition, turn it on, and hit this green start button to see if our battery is now powering the starter and turning over the engine. Three, two, one. Works. Okay, what else? Actually, we're not out of the woods yet. If the fuel injectors aren't working, then it's still a computer problem. We're still totaled. And that list I was talking about, it's getting even longer. So take a look at our onboard display and you'll see it doesn't work at all. And there's a ton of moisture behind the screen, probably explaining why it's non-functional. But don't forget, underneath this seat in the engine bay, we have things like fuel injectors, a bunch of sensors to feed information to the fuel injectors. And then of course, some modules and computers that help process all this information. If this jet ski is ever going to be in the water operating again, we need to have a functional onboard display. So let's go find a functional onboard display. Oh look, a functional onboard display. There's actually muddy water coming out of this thing, so that explains a lot. Let's get the new one installed. Just like that, our new dashboard screen is installed. Now when we turn the key, we have a display and we can read all the information being put out by the engine. Before we put our brand new spark plugs in this engine and then hit that green button again, let's drain out the old fuel and replace it with some brand new gas that's not 13 years old. Now if we pop the frunk and remove the cargo container, we have direct access to the fuel tank. We can remove this vent from the front of the tank, install some plastic tubing, and evacuate as much fuel as possible. Put one end of your plastic tubing into the fuel tank of the Wave Runner, and then hang out a little bit downhill from the jet ski and suck on this end of the tube. Once fuel starts coming out, you need to put this thing quickly into a fuel container to collect everything that we can from that old fuel tank. I can't believe this works. This fuel is 15 years old. I probably have 15 gallons of it too. It's great that the Wave Runner is completely void of all of its bad fuel. The bad news is I now have 10 gallons of old stale gasoline and no way to transport new fresh gasoline into this Wave Runner. This is actually a good opportunity to test out our new trailer and drive this thing over to the fuel station to fuel her up. So with a fresh tank of gas, an updated electrical system, and a brand new computer display, it's time to see if we can get this 20 year old, 20 year old? 2001, two, people born in 2001 or 21? This 21 year old jet ski to run for the first time in 13 years. 13, 13 in 13 years. Did anyone notice I forgot to put the spark plugs in the engine? Now that is a relief. Honey, I told you I'd get it running. Let's see if it floats. If you need us to 
between now and our next video, we will definitely be 